Hello, do you want to make bank shots? I will show you how to make bank shots 99% of the time. It is by making the pockets bigger, okay? If the pockets are bigger, you can make them make them more often. Okay, so I will show you. If you play with buckets, you can make them 100% of the time, okay? But if you play with the tight pockets, you are not be, you are not able to make them as often, okay? But I will show you I will show you how to maximize your chances of the ball going in. And if you have a bank shot, if you have a bank shot into the side pocket, if you have a bank shot into the side pocket, then it is best to shoot hard with a little outside spin. Because if you use inside spin, it becomes uncontrollable. So I recommend use uh, little bit of outside spin on every bank shot. Much easier than with inside spin, you can try it. With inside spin, it is 10 times harder to make the shot with inside spin. So always use outside spin and it, it really depends on, on every shot, how to shoot the, the bank shot. Also because of the position play you need to play after. But I will show you just how to make a bank shot without any position play. Here, you want to hit this, uh, this, this shot, you want to find the mirror angle, okay? This is the angle, it goes into the rail and it will go out the same angle from the rail only if you, use, if you shoot hard. If you shoot soft, it will, it will uh, go at a wider angle away from the pocket. So here I will make it in the side pocket and I will shoot hard with a little outside spin, half a tip of outside spin and I will shoot hard. Like that. And now I will make the same shot. Same shot but I will shoot soft. Okay, and you will see that it will miss the pocket when I shoot soft. You see, it missed the pocket there. Big difference with my tight pockets. Okay, and so you can make uh, the same shot uh, with top spin or draw, but always use a little outside spin, half a tip of outside spin. On this shot, it is right spin, right is away from uh, the, the away from the pocket. Okay, so here I use draw combined with little outside spin. And it was all already more difficult to make with more spin. And now, now I will shoot, shoot the same shot with top spin and a little outside spin. Yeah, exactly the same point, okay? You saw that? You saw exactly on this point with both top spin and draw, okay? So why is, why is that happening? It is because if we use uh, top spin, or bottom spin on the cue ball, the, the object ball will start spinning either forwards. If you use draw on the cue ball, the object ball will start spinning forwards. And if you use top spin on the cue ball, the object ball will start spinning little backwards, but not much. It's only very, very little bit. It doesn't rotate like this, only a little bit. So it, it will be like a stun shot when hitting the rail there almost. And uh, it is very difficult to control, uh, it is, the accuracy is much reduced if you use spin, if you use draw or follow on the cue ball, you will get less accuracy. And you will get much better accuracy if you only use a little bit of uh, outside spin and no top or bottom spin at all. Okay, so I will show, you, show this shot again uh, without draw or follow, only half a tip of outside spin and I will shoot hard. And I made it again. So this is how you can make the, the shot. 99% of the time you want to avoid top spin and draw in the bank shot and you want to want to only use a little bit of outside spin. Not never inside spin because I will show you what happens if I use inside spin.
Okay, inside spin. And I missed it, you see? You see what happened? I missed so much here because of inside spin. And I, I only used half a tip of inside spin and I missed it by that much. This is crazy. And the, why does that happen with inside spin? It is because the cue ball rotates like this with inside spin. It throws the ball there and uh, you, will, you will hit the two it will hit too thick on there, it will go hit to the right of the point on the rail that you meant to hit, okay? So with inside spin, instead of hitting that point, it will hit that point, because the cue ball throws the object ball to the side, to the right, okay? So, uh, it is much better to use a little bit of outside spin on this side, okay? If you make a bank shot from this side, you want to use left spin on that, that side, outside spin. And I use half a tip of outside spin and I shoot hard. And it goes in the pocket every time. So if I would use a draw or follow combined with the outside spin, let's see what will happen. Okay, let's see what will happen. Draw and a little bit uh, outside spin. Yeah, I still made it. With top spin, top spin a little bit of uh, outside spin. Yeah, still made it. So this is very good. So you can combine with top spin and draw. But I, 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 I have only made it 50% of the time when I used top spin and draw combined with outside spin, and I, I made it every single time 100% when I only used. A little bit of outside spin and no other spin. Okay? I will show it again with a little bit of outside spin. Okay? Make it every time. 100%. 100%. Make it from the other side. Other side. Little bit, half a tip of outside spin. Let's see if I make it. Every single time, you see? You can actually make it 100% if you, if you use a little bit of outside spin. And with inside spin, let me see with inside spin if I make it from the other side. Inside spin is the worst because I miss it every single time with inside spin. Oh, this one I made. This one I made. Let's see. Let me try it again. Inside spin. Yeah. Very inconsistent with inside spin, okay? You see that? Sometimes it, the ball goes in with inside spin, sometimes you miss a lot. So that is why I recommend you avoid inside spin. Always avoid it. If you are a beginner, you don't want to do any inside spin shots for at least one year, okay? In the first year as a beginner, never do any shots with inside spin because it is uncontrollable, okay? I have played my entire life and very uncontrollable, very inconsistent with inside spin. So inside spin is when you, when you hit the cue ball to the same direction as the pocket. So if, if I need to make a shot in the side pocket, inside spin is to the left of the, to the, left of the cue ball and outside spin is to the right of the cue ball here. And I'll show you from the other side, this is very important. If you want to make it in a side pocket, Outside spin is right spin here. This is outside spin. This is inside spin. And you want to avoid inside spin. Okay? And on a bank shot, inside spin here, you want to make it to the right. You want to make the ball to the right. So inside spin is on the right side of the cue ball. Can you see it? Right side, that's inside spin. And outside spin is there, away, away from the direction the object ball will go to that is outside spin so you want to always use outside spin half a tip of outside spin on every shot if you are a beginner and it also works for bank shots as you can see so if it works so good for bank shots why not use it for every shot and that is what i do i use outside spin on every single shot if i don't need to play position so if i'm on the last ball Let's say, let's say we are playing 10 ball, 
I'm on the last ball, I don't need to worry about position play. Here I use half a tip of outside spin, half a tip of right spin. It will make it much easier to make the balls in the pocket. Okay? Very, very good thing to learn. So now we have, uh, I have showed you how to make the bank shot in the side pocket, okay? Now I will show you how to make the bank shot in the corner. This is where it gets, gets different, okay? Because the pockets become smaller when they are near the rail. So you will actually get a bigger chance of the ball going in if you shoot softer. So you can hit the rail before it goes in, like this. You saw? Because you shot softer, the, the ball went in more easily. So on a bank shot, if you must uh, make a bank shot near the pockets here, at this angle or even this angle, then it is better to shoot soft. Soft. So here I use, what I do here, I use a little bit of outside spin and a little bit of top spin. Okay? And uh, you, you can use draw or follow, uh, it doesn't really matter, but uh, always use a little bit of outside spin. Okay? So, most important, little bit of outside spin, shoot soft, and ball goes in. Okay? I'll show it again. Here I will use a little uh, top spin also. No, I will use a lot of top spin here. A lot of top spin, a little bit of uh, left spin. Yeah, went in. So, but, but it was not as accurate to, when using uh, so much uh, top or bottom spin on the cue ball. It is less accurate. Okay. Here I will use draw. I will chop the cue. You, you often need to chop the cue if you make a draw shot. So you don't you don't need to chop the cue if you make a center ball shot, or you just use half a tip of outside spin. You don't need to chop the cue then. But on draw shots, you must chop the cue. Okay. So here I use uh, bottom spin, a maximum draw, little bit of outside spin. Yeah, it didn't go in, so very difficult. You, you saw that I shot a little harder. You saw that? Because in draw shots, you need to shoot harder. Otherwise, uh, you will get the stun, stun effect. You will get a stop, stop shot when hitting the object ball, like that, that was a stop, stop shot, and I miss it also. So here I recommend, that is, that is why I recommend, use a little top spin, don't use draw on these shots because with a draw shot, with a draw shot you need to shoot harder and then, then you, you, will miss, you will miss the pocket. So use uh, either pure left spin, pure outside spin or a little bit of top spin, okay? Top spin is also useful for keeping the cue level because if, if you use uh, draw, you will elevate the cue and you, you will get a masse effect and you will miss the object ball. So I recommend you use a little top spin just to keep the uh, cue level, but you don't really need that. You, you can just use uh, pure uh, side spin, Le pure left spin on this shot, okay? Pure left spin. And I made it again. You see, I'm 100%. So far, I haven't missed when using pure, pure outside spin. I have never, never missed in this video. I will do it again. Now I will use uh, inside spin and you will see that very difficult to make it with inside spin. I will use uh, half a tip of inside spin. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> inside spin, <laughs> that, that is the worst thing you can do on a bank shot inside spin and I will do it again. You see how in inconsistent you will get. Oh, what, 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 what happened there? What? I hit there, I hit there with inside spin and I was aiming to make it in the pocket. You saw that? That is why you should al always avoid inside spin. Always avoid it. And that, that is really knowledge here. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what skill level you are. If you have the knowledge, you can make the bank shots very easily. So do, do what I told you, use a little outside spin, half a tip of outside spin on the bank shot, 
okay and if the ball is near near the near the rail you can shoot softer to help it go in and you still use half a tip of outside speed and if the bank shot you make the bank shot into the side pocket shooting softer uh, make it harder for the ball to go in so you need to shoot hard okay shoot the ball hard and it will go in with a little bit of outside spin okay so this is the end of my video subscribe to my channel i'll see you next time goodbye